Oh. Hello. And hey, look, if you can get tea, get get some tea. It's it's getting colder up here. And I don't have any like Well, I do have like a radiator in my room, but it's not on. So uh heat is good. Uh <laughs> hot tea is good when I can get it. I'm still figuring out the right temperature so I can just make it and start drinking it. Uh, I think right now it's probably a little too hot. Oh, okay. Tea is very good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was... Uh... How are you gamers doing? I hope you are doing well. Um, I'm excited. Been looking forward to this. Gonna move my mic closer to me and like, oops, adjust my seating properly. Let me do that real quick. About 150. Fahrenheit. Hmm. See, my stove d just has like it, it has like single digit numbers to determine the heat, so I don't know exactly. I I'll, I could probably figure that out if I look it up though. Yeah, I'm I'm sure I could. Um. Hmm. I am, I am I am eyeballing my frames very heavily. <laughs> when you kind of hot but not burning that's probably what i want because i don't like burning my tongue which is sort of inevitable when it comes to like drinking something hot microdavery and leave like oof. one and a half one and a half minutes hmm <laughs> i've never microwaved tea before i've always like made water in a kettle but i can definitely give that a shot Okay, so there's this thing that I desperately want to watch in like two hours. So I think I just need to get the game started. And fucking, hopefully, praying on my hands and knees that it's just gonna work out. The last time I booted up the game, there wasn't any issues. My internet has been fine. Um, so I'm just going to boot up Steam. And I'm going to play this game that I bought. Yo, wait a minute, what? Guilty Gear Strive cross-platform open test. Hold up. Am I going to reinstall Strive again in like, <laughs> for like two minutes? Uh, all right, booting up validate. It's and it's just gonna synchronize to the cloud. Yes, <clears throat> I am watching my frames. Your frames are fine. Uh, let me know if I can bump up the audio or turn myself down. Uh, y you guys can let me know when I when I start playing. Hi Italian. Hi Rocky. <laughs> Wait, buffering less than before? Oh god, is it buffering? Is it buffering at all?
I can't handle that. Only at first? Oh. Okay, I'm looking at my friends, and so far only like 0.4% of them have been dropped the stream. So that's hopefully good. Uh, oh, I guess you should look at the content warnings. It's a good idea. Uh, <coughs> ah, sorry, trying to cough away from the mic. Alcohol, uh, Yolanda, drugs, mis misogyny. Is that how you spell misogyny? Conspiracy theories, uh, homophobia, ableist language, drugs, alcohol, partial nudity, innocent. Oh, I can't do Isabel on stream. Alonzo, homophobia, quite. Question mark. All right. Drugs. Uh, alcohol homophobia. What is that? I don't know how that works. I, I can't do. I can't do Rocky either. Damn, I really wanted to see Rocky. I can't do it on stream, but I'll talk. I'll, 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 I'll live tweet it or something. Uh, general heads up. I don't know if I can avoid these. Maybe, hopefully. There's gotta be like a... I can like hide the nudity, like right? I... You just love, just finish eating soup, love soup. That is great. I'm glad you had a nice soup. Um, damn. I cannot. Well, it says NSFW. That doesn't necessarily mean nudity. Hopefully. Uh, if, I, if, my, <laughs> if my channel gets taken down, uh, it's been an honor. Knowing Twitch, I'll be banned for like, like the entirety of forever. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, those are your content warnings, gamers. Uh, it's gonna hit start. So I think it starts off with, yeah. You can you can do between these two. Uh. I, I care a lot about Malik, so I think <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go with him. Uh, it'd be it'd be incredibly funny if I was like Coochie Man Chronicles starts today. Fucking it, work, it's, it's happening right now, and then I just pick a knife. <laughs> that would be funny. So I think this game is voice acting, but yeah, let's go with the uh, like. And by Danny. Okay, so it gives it beforehand. That's good. Uh, there it is. I'm looking at my frames. I'm not seeing any droppage. That's great. Um, <clears throat> Thursday evening closings are always the best because you never have to work the next day. You already set your own schedule, being the manager of this fine establishment. Your boss always complimented you on how well you ran this place while keeping it somewhat clean. You don't value your job, and you do the bare minimum to get by, but you somehow bullshit enough to the point where people can't tell that you're bullshitting. That's a major win for you. Oh, oh, fat W, my king. <laughs> you double check that everything is cleaned up before locking up the night. Without the weak light of the exit sign, it would be pitch black up front. It's giving strobe lights. 
Not like you need it. Like, not like you need it anyways. You know this place like the back of your hand, navigating through the darkness to the back entrance with your bag slung over your shoulder. You slam the door shut before making your way to the car. To your car. <laughs> yes, King, get the Popeye's bag. Uh, parking lot lights illuminate the path towards your car. The lone car in the empty, in the empty parking lot of a Popeye's side. Of the Popeye's side. You glance over and see a few cars scattered near the bar. Your feet stop as you ponder grabbing a drink before you head up. Driving under the influence is probably not the best idea. Yeah, but you're the coochie man, right? So like, <laughs> you've already got a bottle of Benny back home with your name on it. You do have tomorrow off, so you think you can drink on a weeknight without feeling too much guilt. Okay. <laughs> Besides, you haven't had a chance to work on music all week a bit, and a bit of sipping whilst doing so won't hurt anyone. You keep it moving. Your phone. You're digging out of your pocket to see who thinks they can text you this late. They can be the group chat because you always have that muted. Oh my god. Fucking same. Although I'm like definitely in a worse situation because I have way too many. <laughs> I mean way too many things. Oh shit. Fishing? No, not yet. No disrespect to the homies, but your phone is too busted to handle all those notifications. You do manage to check it every few hours, even while at work, though. It's Alice, baby mama number two, texting you. You really do... You really want to do nothing more than put your phone down, phone on do not disturb and head to your car. But she knows where you live, work, and hang out with your homies, so you decide it's better just to hear her out. Oh, that's rough, buddy. Oh. Oh, her. Oh, he's a dad. Hey, mind watching Ray tomorrow? I've got a concert tomorrow evening. How do I? Oh, there it is. Oh god, did I just skip it? Did, did I skip it? I can't go back. <clears throat> Alright, maybe, maybe let's. Alright. Mm -mm. You sky scratch. Oh, wait, fuck, it's on auto play. Uh, stop. Oh, uh, fuck, please, please stop. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fucking fumbling all around. You sky scratch in the back of your neck. You think, as you think over a response, it won't get you in trouble. You two made up, not two. Wait. You two just made up to n not too long ago. The last thing you need is a passive aggressive, aggressive Alice. You already lost a few followers from the last bitter fight you two had. Ultimately, decide to wait a bit. She's just have to go back on her word if you don't respond. Damn. Not a public argument on Twitter. <laughs> oh no. You finally make it to your car, struggling to get the key in the keyhole to unlock it. Huh? Oh fuck, it's jammed? No, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> no fucking way. Every time you want to get into your ride and head home, you know, it's, gonna, it's always gonna pull some shit like this. Never mind, you just have to twist it just right to get it in. Your car is old, so maybe you could afford, and you know you could afford to get a new one. But there's something special about Gina, something nostalgic. Almost like magic. She was your first purchase without the help of your parents. You'll get one before the winter hits because you're unsure if this one can last another round of snow and the bullshit that Mother Nature had extorted Jersey. <laughs> you start your car, waiting for it to warm up as you pull out your phone and the no surprise, surprise Alice has made a few more texts. I know you saw that. Oh. Like, can I just... Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, God. 
Malik, please, please, I just need this one, please. I'll pick her up on Sunday. Oh, my computer is going off. My frames aren't dropping though, so that's fucking fine. <clears throat> I work on Saturday. Take her to your mom's house. She must really need this. It's not like your mom would say no, but... And I would want to put that on my mom. Honestly, you need to spend more time with Rhea. You did promise you'd take her to see the new princess movie she's been going on about. On man that's ooh <laughs> I know it like just started and but just like oh it's so palpable it was funny making fun of him on twitter because fucking Alice is like gorgeous, but damn. <laughs> but if you subtweet me again, we're going to have issues. Oh my god. This. I'm glad you're not together anymore. Or I guess. I don't know. It looks, it looks complicated. Yeah, me too, I guess. I promise. Can you pick her up tonight? I gotta get into the zone. It, it, yeah, this game is strong. <laughs> my homie told me some people, some label people are coming to the show. I gotta get my, get all my shit. <laughs> yeah, get that bag, I guess. You sighed, dropping your phone into your lap and grabbing the aux cord. It only takes a moment to adjust a few settings and pull up the Bound Cloud app. You don't realize how exhausting you are until you finally sit down. Your head rolls back to rest in the space between, behind you as if you think it's over. You were always going to say yes because you can never say no to Alice. Um, uh, and after all. She's the woman you consider your first love, and Rhea, the daughter you've always wanted. Now Alice had different plans. She didn't want to be a mother after Rhea was born, and her rap career started picking up. Oh. She didn't want to be one after Rhea was born? Oh, no. Gucci, man. And you grew jealous and began fighting over with her over the smallest things. Ever since then, your relationship's been on a melting iceberg. One of these days it's going to dissolve, leaving you both drowning. <laughs> Rhea wasn't your first child, but she was the one you felt a connection to. You know it's fucked up to admit, but it's really the truth. Maybe because she was a product of everything you always wanted. Turns had two kids? How old is he? Like 26? Damn. A child to a woman you love, and even though she was an accident, you cherish her like she was meant to be here. Or at least you try to. <coughs> Sorry, I was clearing my throat. Uh, you focus on other things, making music that will bring you money and fame so you can give her the life she deserves. So you can give your mother a second chance of life on her own without the shittiness of your father. But Alice had the same dreams. She wanted fame, and she deserved it too. She grew up circles around the majority of Bound Cloud rappers and deserved every hit she got. And she loved Rhea. You can never call her a bad mother. But she was obviously focused on her career more than her child, and you both realize that both of you can't focus on your careers and a child. So you took a backseat for a while, while she built herself up. Yeah, sure, I'll be there in 10. <sighs> Thanks, I'll make it up to you, I promise. I... Man...
this is just me i can't i can't like see i'll make it up to you or something i don't know it's <laughs> it's a weird thing oh <laughs> well you... bro <laughs> i mean he's the coochie man We're freaking going through it or not <laughs> Don't get your hopes up too high. Damn. She replies, but you don't bother looking. Knowing her is probably a woody remark or a bunch of emojis. The thought of it makes you smile, sitting up straight as you pull up in the direction of her apartment. You make sure to clean your back seat before you make your way up to the front door. You used to have a key, but she took it from me the last time you got it got into it and she never and you never bothered to ask it you never bothered to ask for it back instead you throw her a quick text and lean against her railing as you wait oh oh she's adorable she's EP she's precious She opens the door, Ray is sound asleep against her shoulder. Yeah, he's got- he has two kids, yeah. No, he, he said it earlier. <laughs> she opens the door, Ray is sound asleep against her shoulder. You know Ray is about to grow out of her boots to see anyway. Be your gentle as you take her from Alice and place her in it. How old is she, like six? You take a moment to make sure she is situated and still asleep before locking the door and making your way back up the steps. Alice is staring at you with admiration wind all over her face. For a moment, you feel like you're 20 again. Take her out on your first date. You used to get so excited whenever you pulled up to her parents' house. Bouncing with a new CD in her hand, tumbling into your car and kissing you like she hasn't seen you in years. That was back when you two were young and dumb. Not a worry in this world. Well, besides your mother not liking her, but that's a memory you'd rather not think of. Someone's happy to see me. I swear this had voice acting in it, but maybe I'm just... Wrong? I might just be wrong. Yeah, I just might be wrong. Wait. Yeah, no, I'm just wrong. I guess they just did voice acting for like the trailer stuff, probably. Oh god. Ugh, the sneeze is brewing. Oh no, it was brewing and then it disappeared. Cool, thanks, buddy. Someone's happy to see me. She doesn't speak, probably spacing out again. Reach for the overnight bag in her hand, sling it over your shoulder with a quick glance towards your car to make sure Rhea was still sound asleep. You nervous? Yeah, fuck. She hugs you, and you have to adjust the bag over your shoulder to return the embrace. Your eyes closed as you allow yourself to enjoy this. Despite it being a few years since you two broke up, you still love have love for her. Every woman you tried to find in Every woman you tried to find Every woman you tried to find in her but couldn't succeed. Man, that's a good art. You're the one to pull away, and even then, her arms are still clinging around you. You have to force yourself to set the bag down properly to hug, to properly hug her, pressing a kiss to her forehead. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> what if this is the one? What if it's my big break? Then it's your big break. You've always wanted this, haven't you? Yeah, but... You feel her chest heave against your own. Yeah, your hand about me to rub her back. What about her? It's not like you can take care of her all by yourself. She's right, but it still hurts to hear. You both know you aren't fit to be a father, much less the father of two. And 
She already knew you and your other baby mama, Tara, weren't on good terms either. You pull away, turning your attention towards the car as you speak. You know, becoming famous doesn't absolve you from being a mother. Yeah, no, I was saying it earlier. It was really funny to be like, damn, like you fumbled the bag with her. How could you? And then like, now I'm here and I'm like, damn, it was rough. <laughs> you can't use my own words against me, Malik. I told you the same thing when I found out I was pregnant. You did. And ever since you've been taking life a bit more seriously. Making sure you had enough money to take care of yourself and your two kids in case anything happened. Music was just a side hustle that you hoped would make you successful one day. And if it did, well... You would still be a father of two, even with a successful music career. Alright. <sighs> I should go. So soon? You don't want to sit and talk like old times? It's late. The thing you hate, you think you hate about Alice is how quick she is to turn on you. One moment she wants you to hold her for hours, just like things never change, and next she never wants to see you again and has blocked you on all social media. Oh, dude. By wanting to sit on the steps, listening to a distant car horns and light chatter from the neighbors. It's nearly midnight, you should probably get some sleep yourself. You can call me after the show or whatever. Yeah. I will. She looks upset, but you can't really do anything about it. Well, you can but you just don't want to. It may be selfish, but you have your own things to, uh, but you have things of your own you want to do, and you're unsure how much time is left before your body shuts down on you. Hello? <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't be thinking about that, but I guess. You give her the forehead. You give her forehead one last kiss before picking up the bag and slinging it over your shoulder. Once you reach the bottom of the steps, you look back to see her standing there, leaning against the doorway as she looks at you. Her unusual smile, the smile you fell in love with all those years ago, is gone. Feel... Guilty. But not guilty enough to do anything about it. Toss her bag beside her. Before getting in the driver's seat, shooting one last glance at her before driving off. The ride home is short, but it gives you some time to think. Stop light switch to red, and you glance back to your sleeping daughter in the rearview mirror. A piece of air falls over her face, and you reach back to sweep it out of the way. Your life is in your control, yet you continue to make bad and selfish decisions. How long before that catches up to you? Yeah, dude. Bitch ass behavior. Jeez. Hi. <laughs> oh, you texted me. Uh. What? I... I don't know how to respond to the messages you sent me. That is a very wild dream. Uh... Yeah, no, this is, uh, this is rough. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, uh, I mean, I had... 
think it was actually a fairly tame frame for me. I don't know, I'm just I'm just thinking about all the stuff. Uh fucking Damn. Are you playing bitch ass? Yes, name's Malik. <laughs> Hmm. He he's one of the only two characters you can play as at the moment. Oh god, who do I? I need to see everyone that I have options for. Oh god, is that just? Oh god, wait. Oh no, it's only Yolanda. Okay, that's fine. No, she definitely did send him mixed messages. Yeah. <laughs> you well, know yeah, sure. I, I thought I I thought I'd have multiple, but it's fine. Uh Glonda, let's go. Her design rocks. Like a, a lot of the designs in this game just rock and speak to me. <laughs> Girl at the poetry slam. Written by Danny. Rugs, misogyny, conspiracy theorists. Uh, heads up, gamers. You join at the beginning, <laughs> very late, and only saw him being a bitch. Uh, he's like. How <laughs> did have multiple? Relax. Uh, no, he's like working at like uh, in universe Popeyes as like a manager, and he has two kids with. A woman who he doesn't is no longer with, and another one who apparently he has a rocky relationship with. And uh Yeah, it is it is rough. And they are essentially they don't seem good for each other, but they are essentially stuck together because they had an accidental kid. I mean, at least he's trying to be in his kid's life a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> but is he still in a relationship with Rocky and seeing another? Actually, I don't think he's in another relationship. I just think that both of the people he's had killed kids with hate him. Or he's Polly, I don't know. I think there's a way I can see, but... Damn, I ain't unlocked shit with them. Let me need to just start. Uh, I'm at 2%, never mind. 7%. They usually show their flat. I mean, that might just be for something else. In the past few months, you've gotten better, a better understanding of how life has been treating you. The mothers of your children have left you alone for the most part. At least since you started taking your kids to school and picking them up whenever they asked. Me and Ever to get close closer with your kids outside of the basic childish shit you found yourself indulging in. Side note. Why the fuck does your daughter like Peppa Pig so much? Why the fuck does any kid like Peppa Pig? Something about those eyes haunt you and you find yourself looking away whenever she puts it on? I guess. One thing you find troubling is the trajectory of your rap career. You have a decent following on BoundCloud, and people are talking about your music locally. Maybe because you have sort of shifted from serious rap to comedy rap, doing stuff to appeal to a big buck crowd, but you'd, you'd be grudgingly accepted. But the actual bare minimum of him doing father behavior? Yeah. Who knew it'd be so easy to get teens to do shitty dances to your fucked up music? Rapping off beat and shit appears to be the pinnacle of music these days, and as much as you hate to admit it, you get a lot more attention than the things you put your heart and soul into. Wait a minute. It's why he's known as the Coochie Man. It makes sense didn't mean it 
Unless he did. I hope I hope Coochie Man is like his magnum opus and his pride and joy. <laughs> That'd be fucking incredible. Uh with this stuff, it takes maybe more an hour tops to create a shit beat. With some samples, the rapping just comes naturally. Maybe you're just meant for comedy rap. You ignore that feeling of failure for the time being. You have things to do and a backpack full of CDs slung over your shoulder. One of the homies told you about this place on the Upper East Side of the city. Not too far from your place, but you still took the trip and drove instead of calling a rideshare. Who knows what kind of woman you can pull at an open mic. Women gravitate towards you and typically stay for a couple of weeks till they realize how inconsistent you are when it comes to maintaining relationships. Or until one of your baby mamas, probably Tara, finds out you're talking to another woman and tries to sabotage you because she's an evil woman who only wants to see a black man lose. Like... <laughs> Maybe if you got a gun... Ghanian woman pregnant, your mother wouldn't see you as such a disappointment. Wait, Ghanian? Ghan. Fucking, hold up. I know it's a real place. Ganyan. Okay, there. Wait, did I spell that right? Uh. You hate. It's another A? Ganyan. Ganyan. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I was right. You've gotten a Ghanaian woman pregnant like your mother. Your mother wouldn't. She was such a disappointment. Your siblings would have made plenty of you every chance they got. Ah. Oh, I see. You've dealt with enough favoritism growing up. With how much lighter skin you are compared to your siblings, being the only one that gets the light skin gene from your great grandfather on your mom's side. Your parents expected so much from you, but you've done nothing but disappoint. Disappoint, disappoint. Light skin disappointment. Damn. Yet yeah, Alice was different. She never saw your flaws. She was your first love, the woman you wished your mother approved of. They never got along. You've known Alice since you were in high school, but you didn't actually start talking to her until you both graduated. Becoming local rappers brought you both together, but you both closer, and you soon fell in love with her. The love never felt mutual, no matter how much she tried to convince you that it was. You knew their love wasn't for people. The love you knew love wasn't for people. You knew her love wasn't for people, but for her craft. It showed more when you got her pregnant and she didn't seem to care about the child you both had. You can't think about that right now. You're already an hour late to the open mic, and if you sit in your car any longer, someone might call the cops. Damn, dude. That, that sucks, doesn't it? It's just a salon? Yeah, this is a hair salon. But instead of the usual chairs and mirrors, it's a row of folded chairs. The ceiling is littered with spotlights. Bright red and neon lights shaped like rose roses hug the walls. Come here with your daughter one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're safe, man. Gamer, how you doing? <laughs> look, look, he's going through it. I know it's funny to make fun of white skinned people, but look, he's going through it, alright? Oh. Well, you, don't worry, I did it. You're fine. <laughs> I just as soon as I saw him. <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, yeah, we found out this dude has 
two kids with a woman that he that do not like him and uh or or their kids i'm assuming and now he is trying to date one of the other characters uh, at an open mic night <clears throat> you uh no he no look look it was fu I, I was saying this earlier it was so funny to make fun of him for fumbling the bag because honestly it fucking else yeah but like <laughs> fucking go back and watch the vod this shit is rough already <laughs> uh you'll come here with your daughter one day or you should at least she's been asking for braids for a while you find yourself lingering at the doorway not wanting to disturb a person on stage reciting slam poetry and not a very good one in your attempt to find a seat so you wait, listening for a moment before realizing you're ultimately not that interested. The bag on your shoulder is slipping. You move your shoulder to adjust it. Oh my god, he was fumbling it in real life. You know, it's funny, I don't know the deep lore. They, no, they explained it pretty good in his intro. It is, it is rough. He is in a very unfortunate situation. <laughs> that he is kind of maybe put himself in but it is still rough very very rough uh you scan the area in front of you and oh oh no i don't know if you could hear that my radiator was making noise i forgot it's cold now i don't think you can hear it unless i'm talking but Cool. I'm gonna have to fucking adjust my noise gate for that because that is not going to fly anymore. Ah, uh, uh, scan the area in front of you, and just from behind, you can tell you've already run into a few familiar faces. People you want to talk to? Fuck no. But you know they might try to talk to you if you try to perform, even though you may be a little late for that. Hey, who the fuck knows what will happen? You didn't realize until how long you were lingering near the door until you heard the soft voice of someone speaking right above a whisper. You nearly jumped, not expecting anyone to pay that much attention to you. You looked down in the direction the voice came from. Fuck. Fuck. Oh no. Fuck. Oh, was this not- was this not a date? <laughs> oh my god, look at him, he's fucking panicking! <laughs> Yeah, if the delay is bad, just refresh the the thing. <laughs> hey, you look new here. You want to perform, or are you just checking out the scene? God, she's so cute. Oh my god, we're fucking like a fish bandana. Oh my god, she's so cute. She got you by surprise, and you find yourself staring a little more than you'd like to admit. Starstruck or hard eyes, you can't really decide what emotion way you want to portray. Or you think you're portraying. What the entire fuck is wrong with you? This man who can sling any hoe he wants is he wants is just suddenly starstruck in front of a woman. A really beautiful woman. God damn it. Oh shit, no. I mean, maybe I haven't thought that far ahead yet. Uh, my homie told me to come here and check out the scene. Gotta get my cloud up and pass off some tapes. <laughs> you a rapper? Oh no, the first choice. Uh, what do I know about her? Uh, likes fish. Fish motif. Um, very big and cool eyebrows. Awesome lipstick. <laughs> lipstick. Um, Uh, I mean, he treats it like a hobby, but I don't know. If I was asked about my hobbies, I'd, I'd be upfront about it. I'm a musician. Oh, what instrument do you play? Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh. Instrument? 
Yeah, you said you were a musician. You do know that a musician means anyone who makes music, right? She rolls her eyes at you. Flat out rolls her eyes at you. It's like she wants you to see how annoyed she is by this conversation. I am aware, but people don't really use it like that anymore. Or at least most of the people here. Okay, now you just feel like an asshole. Hopefully she doesn't put that... That didn't put her off too much. Shit, my bad. Nah, I, I rap and produce beats. Oh, he's got hearts on his mixtape. You reach into your bag and offering her a tape. One of your nicer ones. A sleek case with your name and number. Even a heart at the end of it. This one is always safe for the ladies. Ah, uh, okay. But look, she gives you is typical. You're the only one in the city actively heading out mixtapes, and the majority of the people tell you they don't even have a working CD player in their cars anymore. You've always considered switching to uh, primarily digital media, but the concept of being unique is always is what appealed to you. You always stood out no matter what you did until you find another way to be unique. You'll keep this going. I bump up the, the game a little bit. Got a name? Yolanda. Are you sure giving out a CD is the best form of advertising? You know, most people don't even have a CD player anymore. What about BoundCloud? I haven't been thinking about it. Some people... Something about keeping physical makes it more authentic, you know? But if the white man decides to close the internet and everything we keep on it is gone. <laughs> At least I still got my music in physical form. You know, we... I mean... I'd say he's like, wrong, but fucking, I look at HBO Max cutting shit that is only digital and refusing to put out physical copies of it, so it's just gone if you didn't pirate it? Um... <laughs> You've read your fair share of theories about how the internet is controlled by a select few companies who decide to shut down Shut it down whenever they want to. And the thought of that is daunting at times. Losing all of your progress, your fans, and haters. It's scary enough to keep you awake at night. Fine, I'll take you up on that. But you can't go around here blaming the white man for everything. Are you one of those white people aren't that bad types? You watch she ponders the question, you're almost tempted to walk away from this entirely. <laughs> you got this W. Uh, but then you remember she offered to let you perform, and it's probably one of the people in charge here. With the way people talk in the city, you'd rather not have your reputation ruined over this. <laughs> what? No, I mean, not really. A lot of them come here, and they're pretty cool, but... I'm always... Wary, you know. You're one of those. Fine. You can't get mad at that she doesn't follow your philosophy. Not many people have the IQ to understand it. Molly. Bro. It sits here watching Rick and Morty. <laughs> Yeah, I I get that. <laughs> uh, what season did you drop off Rick and Morty, by the way? What? What? <laughs> Sometimes you think everything's going great, then bam. <laughs> they can't take your home because your parents don't like us. Uh. Ellie's right. He, he... He is actively right. That that is that is pretty damn true. <laughs> like every time he says something wrong, he says something kind of right. Unfortunately.
I'm sorry that happened to you. That's really shitty. I've had my fair share of my Korean grandmother being like that until I have to remind her that I'm black. Not a small laugh at that, reaching her hand up to rub the back of your neck. You have a little more in common with this woman than you thought you would. Still, you're treading carefully because with the words you say. You can't give her all of you yet. What do you mean by that? <laughs> My mom's the same way, always wanting me to bring home some Ghanaian woman. I said that right, right? Wait. Ghanaian. Ghanaian. Some Ghanaian woman. <laughs> she still hates my baby mamas, but treats kids like her own. They're with her right now. I'm not Ghanaian. I'm French, but I'm French Korean. And the colonizer and the colonized. Damn, that is rough. <gasps> oh my god, her hat does her fucking things! This game rocks. I thought that one for my grandma. Yeah, no, old people. Mm. I'm gonna have, have a sip of my tea. Oh no, the line is coming. Oh no. Oh, uh. Also, how's the stream been? Because I see I've dropped like 603 frames, but that is like literally 0.3% of the, the stream in total. So hopefully things aren't too bad. Like, no, no real buffering on anything. Would suck if it is, but... Mmm, tea. Very good. It seems okay for now? Alright, good. Um, she's laughing. And also, if someone was like, oh, colonizer and colonized, I'd probably chuckle too. Uh, see, so yeah, I just laugh it off. Oh! Nigga, that's not fucking. What are you saying? That's not laughing, bro! Good lord! Oh my god! Malik, bro! <laughs> Not that I have a problem with it, as long as the homies don't know! It ain't like a fucking white girl again. And that was a one-time thing. Just once and you were still young when you did it. You should have realized that it was that she was a fetish for you when she bragged about how good you were on social media. Like, you knew your dick game was bomb, but come on, keep that on the down low. I don't fuck men who aren't creatives. <laughs> you want to fucking <laughs> Oh my god, thank you for just that. <laughs> Yolanda, you're... Have like 2% more self-respect for yourself. Please, please let this be a fake out. <laughs> but you did pass me a tape, and... And... Wait, is she considering fucking you too? Maybe after I give it a listen. Never mind, you know what? You would give yourself a point for that one, but you have been trying to tone down the misogyny lately. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Holy shit, that's so funny. I mean, it's not. Obviously, but it's like he's aware of it. <laughs> they both suck. Fucking. Okay. 
Gotta see the D player in your shit. We can always go to my car and pop it in. Automod, I allowed this earlier. Stop. <laughs> Ditch this joint. I'm not ditching anything, but I will head out and listen to this tape. Just two songs. Other people still have to perform, you know? Okay, maybe you should bring out the scoreboard for that one. You'll, you always have to log your accomplishments. So far, you've had two. Whoa, he's like my he's like my vampire dude. It's like the heaven points. You do not like this man? That's fun. Oh my god. Malik one, Yolanda zero. Dude, you didn't even ask her name. Did he? Your logs? Did he? Is there logs? Did he ask her name ever? Okay, he did. I was I was so scared for like a minute. Just holding my damn breath. The leader under the direction of your car and after passing out a few tapes to the people in the back row, she didn't comment on it, so she's probably seen it before. Your car is cleanish. You keep shit off the floor, but you are a father of two young kids, and with that comes spills, pours, and the occasional food stain. But you never know what you might pull. Your mother always told you that women don't like a messy man. Use your remote to unlock the door. Thank God it worked this time. Walking a few steps ahead to open the door for her. Man, it would have been so funny if it didn't work. <laughs> Welcome to Casa de Malik. Malik. Bro. That means home. You live in your car? Oh my god, the fish out is so quick. You'll land your sprites. Incredible. <laughs> Wait, no, shit. <laughs> Look at this fucking dumbass dude, he didn't even know. You feel yourself flushing up. This is stupid. Doesn't seem like the type of man to open the door for a woman. He did, didn't he? I, I fucking, I don't know. You feel yourself blushing up. This is stupid. You never let a woman see this part of you until you've hit the bedroom. What is it about this woman that allows you to be so vulnerable despite just meeting her? I don't know, she's like... Normal? Alright, she's getting a point for that. He gave woman points. The misogyny arc is over. <laughs> You witch? You heard those for real? Your African mother always told you to stay away from them? You ignore the voice in your head as you put in your tapes, skipping one of those more to your more popular songs. Please play it, please play it, please. Fuck. So, what do you think? Don't sugarcoat it for me. Actually, if I can hold up. I'm just gonna, uh, I pulled up his SoundCloud real quick. Uh You look to her like a child about to receive some ice cream as you turn to her. <laughs> she doesn't seem... Nigga, that was awful. <laughs> Ouch. 
You wrote a lot of negative thoughts about your music and put in. <laughs> you wrote a lot of negative thoughts about your music, but that felt like she's got your ass beat after that one. She got her ass after that one. <laughs> that was probably hers. A lot of music. She probably hears a lot of music from the other performers and you didn't live up to her high standards. What is this? Uh, this is his in-character SoundCloud account. <laughs> <laughs> but not everyone can be a lover. <laughs> he shrugged it off. <laughs> and she looks towards the third car in front of yours. You take a deep breath. Swallow that blind like <laughs> No one wants to see that. Fine. Fair. Not everyone has to like my style. <laughs> yeah. It isn't about your style. I know what you're going for. It's just you need to find a beat to match. I've heard a lot of rappers in here every Friday. Like, I have to get back. You're not even getting the chance to reply before she's leaving your car and walking back towards the shop. Two jocks and beat up towards her. Open the door, you're smooth the desk, you lean down to whisper in her ear. Like the nerves of uh, like the nervousness earlier dispersing into the evening sky. <laughs> now your confidence is in full light skin mode. <laughs> hey, you gotta use it to your advantage sometimes. I'm not done with you. <laughs> oh he's he's outside the thing, the car. There's no more there's no more music. Oh fuck my stomach. <laughs> they should have just played it fully. <laughs> like no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh that show is so funny. Um <laughs> light skin mode. I'm not done with you. Okay. Boo. And that was awful. <laughs> to be fair, it's been a couple of months and you've tried to split game. You've been focusing on somewhat being a better father. Dating with two kids is not ideal. She looks flustered. You've got to give yourself a point for that dub. This is not a W. I don't know how. It, she She's a hopeless romantic. I don't know what to tell you. Two league, one you want. <laughs> Well, now you really can't leave. You've hooked her in, might as well try and keep rolling. Take a seat back and pull out your phone. Scrolling social media to pass the time until this thing is over. You watch her from the corner of your eye. She seems to run this place and she smiles a lot. Hey. I'm not bad at flirting. I feel like comparing me to Malik in this, in this, I feel like that's not very fair. <laughs> Actually, you know what? He's had two kids, fucking... Fucking, what, what am I saying? I, I, I'm, I'm clearly in the minority here. <laughs> I can't find it, but there's just one Spongebob picture where said every life skin is a villain and this man is an example. <laughs> Oh my god. Huh. You avoid thinking about it. You definitely didn't spend the entire past hour thinking about why you liked her smile so much. Absolutely not. That's lame as hell. Lights cut back and everyone leaves. Slowly but surely, you didn't pay too much attention to them. You got other plans in mind. Malik Patterson will get laid tonight. He looks at peace as she clears the set. You decide to be a gentleman and help her out, reaching out to pick up the mic stand she was holding from the ground. Well, let me help you with that. You look surprised when you help her, but you don't pay it any mind. It's all part of the charm. You pick up a few more mic stands, placing them 
where the others are grouped near the back. You know, you don't have to do this. You could have left when everyone else left. I can't be a good guy? Wow, what a world we live in, woman. <laughs> I can't be a helpful, nice guide for you right now and stay behind when everyone leaves to help you clean up. Oh, too low IQ, I see. <laughs> Yeah, that gets a laugh out of you. Being an unironic incel isn't that funny. <laughs> she even rolls her eyes at you. Ouch. You bring up your hand to your chest, feigning offense. Fine, you can put this by the other mics. In the can you put this by the other mics in the corner? Her, her and her bandana matching em emotions gives me life. Sure thing, princess. <laughs> Stop. Please. I use the man. <laughs> Help this man. Okay, maybe you did not save Princess, but he got her worked up again. Honestly, that's another point for you. Yolanda is... I don't know what this man has done to her. Maybe he's the coochie man for a reason. Three, one. <laughs> you take your time to try and properly organize the mic stance as you are trying to make a good impression, or at least just be the perfection that might just be the perfectionist than you. You can't really tell at this point. Uh. I don't think he means anything he says when he's like this. I, I it, he seems pretty mask on to me. You know, you don't have to. I know. I just want to make a good first impression. You didn't have to say that, but you guess you made your mind up. First impression? <laughs> you like what you saw today? He let out a laugh, abandoning your tasks. Striding before striding towards her got a bit closer than a stranger would be leaning your hand in against the beam behind her as you look down at her with a smirk It's time your favorite part of flirting the praise Ooh. Ooh. Also, he's already a walking red flag. He has had two kids with people, with two different people, which is not wrong, but he has not been the best about it, and those people haven't been the best about it. Um. I mean, one of them is obviously. What would I say in this scenario? I'd say, yeah, I think you're cute. Like, like that's it. N none of these answers would be my genuine answer. However, wait, I can save. What am I doing? It's gonna be my first save point. <laughs> I'm I'm absolutely stuck with it. Um, <laughs> I think this is the funny one at the answer, and it might be the better one, considering fucking I don't. I mean, she likes to be flirted with, but like, dude's a complete stranger. Fucking, I, I like a more just my music. Oh my god, she's crying. <laughs> it gives you a sort of a dry look, almost like she was 0.2 seconds from asking you to leave. 
honestly, if she did, you wouldn't be mad about it. That wasn't your best line, but hey, man's gotta share his music. Fine. Don't want to go home. I'll clean this place myself. What? You think cleaning is gonna, cleaning is gonna win me over? Man. You realize you don't actually want to do that. Shit. Okay, let's backpedal a little. Oh, I was just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Bro. Oh, he's spiraling. Uh-huh. Unless you want me to. You need to stop talking. He knows. He's aware. He's so aware. He keeps going. Well, quick, how do you get out of this? Wait, that's easy. You just look like you're joking. He smirked, and once you notice that you're still standing over here, over her, you take a step back to give her some room. Thank God you showered and brushed your teeth before this. If you really want some pussy, you're gonna have to try a lot better than that. Uh. Alright. Yeah, you were not expecting that one at all. She's really fucking got you there. You didn't expect to have to try so hard tonight. Guess you gotta bust out the big ones then. Unzip his fucking pants. I don't know, dude. Sheesh, fine. What do you want? Don't you have the rest of a mixtape to show me? You perk up. You can't show your excitement, it'll scare her away. Malik, it is completely unfathomable to me how you have not scared away any hoe oh, yet. Yeah. You haven't had much luck being vulnerable with women. Wait. Didn't you say it was awful? He hasn't scared them away for plot reasons. <laughs> yeah, he had to have two kids. <laughs> now, is she, now is she trying to get in your drawers? Man, women these days are too confident. Not that you have anything against a confident woman. You just don't need a hard hut in public, especially in front of a woman you just met. You wonder if she's into Dominic, hmm? What did... I... How do you think about this to a person you just... You know what? Dude just built different, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but I still have to listen to the whole thing. Fuck. Yes. Yes. God, fuck yes. You won. You finally won it. I think you're thinking it's going to be a bust. Again, you calm yourself down. She can step away from this at any moment, and the thought of that is a little scary. Usually the woman you fuck with are wrapped around your finger, but she's acting like she could care less. She couldn't care less. She's not acting. <laughs> Honestly, it's hurting your ego. Good. <laughs> but you ignore it for the time being as you reach into your bag to grab your keys. This isn't the best way to scout for dummies. Jesus Christ. Looking, playing like death note levels like mental chess to find out like hmm if i say this and i get hard that could only mean that she might have known that i this would happen oh there's no way how could she have done this I, but if i don't get hard she might think i'm gay or something and that that can't be damn it but i do kind of like thinking about kissing boys She's got me trapped. Now there's only one way to keep pressing forward no matter what, no matter how hard I get. Then let's go. I <laughs> like Kara. <laughs> Wait, y'all gonna be light skinned? Oh, fuck, you cracked it. 
You don't get too close this time. You dangle your keys above her head instead. Really, she's not as sure as she thought he was. You can just lean down and... Yeah, go in the car. So how do you like a... Do you smoke? Oh my god, the fucking... The fucking hat. No. What? <laughs> you are in love. You are literally in love. You haven't had a girl impress you like this in years. You're staring. And you know you're staring, but fuck. <laughs> Hi, Ed. Thank you for the lurk. Fuck. Okay, Molly. Come on. You can't sit here with your mouth hanging like an open fish. He just met a cool girl and he's losing it. He's never met a cool woman. <laughs> He's like, hey, how you doing? Um, you, you are an hour in, but honestly, just existing. Knowing, knowing Malik, you'll see more Malikisms as it goes forward. I hope you're doing well, gamer. It's always nice to have you around, genuinely. Uh, all right, you can't sit here. <laughs> You can't see her with your mouth hanging open like a fish. You close it and grin instead, sitting back before you speak. Come on, not all rappers smoke. Also, wait, don't let her. Not in your kid's car. In the car you have your kids in, no? Like, at least have her crack open a window or something. You're at work? I hope you're having a good day of work. And if not, I hope you can... <laughs> I hope this is a good enough distraction for you. Uh, I know, but you do? Uh, how do you know? She reaches in between your seat to pull out a honey dutch wrapper you probably forgot to throw out. Yeah, he's a pathetic loser, man. No, you're like meant to like, you're meant to like smoke out of the window. This is a cool girl and a lot of basic nice dudes are like, oh, gee, you're so amazing. Whoa, want to go to second date? And she's kind of let down a lot. Oh, your sister's fun. Well, like, touche. <laughs> you reach into your pocket and let pull out a lighter. One of your specialties is that you have removed the safety off. Fiddling with it in your hand, you glance at her from the corner of your eye, realizing how close she is with the blend between her lips. Damn. Wait, what? Did you eat it? Wait. No, maybe it's his imagination. A light skinned player in you comes out in full effect. Almost like a full moon out. You quickly eat the blunt in her lips. L Lady in the Tramp esque style, pressing yours against hers. The free hand moving to cover her cheek and tilt her hand, her chin slightly as you kiss her. <laughs> there is no hesitation. If anything, it felt like desperation. She's returning the kiss like the two of in a long term relationship. She's been reminded of one of the Frisians and why she loves you. <laughs> It's like, it's like you're kissing Al. Oh, despite everything, despite it being nearly a year since you two have been intimate, you still yearn for her. You still search for Alice in every situation. Ship. You ache for that intimacy, that passion, a love so grand it scatters your thoughts and leaves you rolling, speechless and breathless. The hocus pocus type of light skin of magic. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the hand on your shoulder brings you back reality. Okay, you're kissing Yolanda. Probably not a good idea, but thinking about your ex-girlfriend while making out with another woman. Your hand moves to rub along her sides for you while she never gave permission to touch her beyond kissing. You freeze. Your hand is sort of hovering in a space between you two in the space between you two. You are the first one to pull away. You cough up a bunch of smoke because you ate the fucking blood she had. You look down at her with a smirk, slightly 
lighting the blunt before st slightly spitting out the blunt and lighting it before taking it. Still go from her just to take a hit, just as you planned. If you only kiss me to get the first hit, that's a low blow, man. Low blow. It's called being smart. The white man's education doesn't teach you that. White man's education. You let out a laugh, exhaling some smoke out of the window. Okay, you are smoking out the window at least, but still. You let a laugh, exhaling smoke out the window. She has been a little too critical of your ideologies for your liking. Most women don't even question it, but again, she's not like most women. It's almost like there's something wrong with her. Malik, you can't make- you don't make good jokes. You never make good jokes. All your jokes are bad. You're, they're so bad. Oh god, she's not like other girls. Fucking... Um, he doesn't make good jokes. Oh, thank God you made it to this, Lucius. Oh, I'm glad you're here. This shit is wild. Um, I didn't think the Coochie Man would be this pathetic and powerful, and not in the good way. <laughs> Been waiting for this game, it's very good. Um, all right, fucking joke joke about it j j joke I'm, I'm gonna try no he's pathetic in the bad way he's not like he's not like baby girl pathetic he's like he's like pathetic and he knows it and he doesn't stop all right joke about it you know the white man lies sometimes like how periods are natural cia killed tupac because he was about to expose them you know Periods aren't natural? Not if you take care of your body. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> you were joking about the first part. You aren't that stupid, but it's pretty funny to pretend like to be that much of a hotel. You kind of want to see how far you can get this just by fucking with her. You know that's complete bullshit, right? How's the bullshit? It's been proven by many women who eat right. You have no jokes. None of your jokes are funny. <laughs> Joking with Malik is the wrong answer every time. <laughs> Serena Woman is one of the most athletic women on the planet and she still gets periods. Take that where's that ass propaganda elsewhere. I don't play that shit. Okay, ouch, damn, she's cold. Maybe you shouldn't try to get on her bad side just to be funny. No! Be genuine! I didn't get it from where's that, I got it from Headbook? That's even worse. Oh, I was gonna say bitter. Yeah, if I found out I was smoking smoking and just made out with a fucking Twitter user, I think I'd... Yeah, no, no, this, you're right, Yolanda, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You're laughing. Maybe it's a bit more high-pinched than you'd like to admit, but who cares? You can tell you just eased her nerves. You're surprised she didn't pick on it up on it earlier. This woman wants to put up with a lot of bullshit. I should be awful for the funny. <laughs> You know what, you're right. I'm fucking with you. I know periods are natural. I have two sisters. Yeah, she is putting up a BS right now. So wait a minute. Fucking... <clears throat> I 
I'm not that stupid. Uh huh. She's quiet for a moment before you realize she's giving you the car once over. You quickly do the same. Uh, scanning the front seats for any trash you might forgot to pick up. Having two preschoolers is hard. Kids are messy and worth pretty much full time jobs, making. And working pretty much a full time job makes it hard to keep up with them sometimes. You got kids? There it is. What do you fucking said? <laughs> there it is yeah uh, Ray and Roman two different moms as long as they don't post about you on my socials you'll be fine you're just full of fucking problems huh call out this man you've known for like an hour at most in a golly <laughs> It hurts. It hurts so bad that you'll give her a point. Malik 3, Yolanda 2. She's right. You are full of problems. A lot of fucking problems. Too many to write into your lyrics. You can never properly articulate them. Maybe that's why you ex never excelled in personal rap. Oh. You shrug, attempting to steer away from your approaching bad mood with a lighthearted joke. Not a problem if I act, right? That's what my mom would say. <laughs> so you're a mama's boy? Oh, come on. <laughs> Fuck no, my mom hates me. Both my parents do. What? Oh. First of all, you're an idiot. Why the fuck would you say that? Women don't like when you're emotional. You've had women express... You've had a woman express how emotional weakness is such a turnoff, and you typically don't last long with them. You try not to talk too much about your personal life to anyone, so why is she different? You can get out of this. You always manage to find a way out of every bad situation you put yourself in. <laughs> Damn, you can't last long fucked up. Look, it's a serious issue. It isn't that big a deal. Hmm. Wait, she's showing interest? It's like she wants to know more about your fucked up family life you have. Sure about that? You even gave her an out, and she's still kept pressing. You hope this isn't one of those healing therapist types you've heard about on Bitter. Ragu, hi. Welcome. Uh, you're just in time for me to go use the bathroom, because I, I need to use the bathroom. <laughs>
All right, I'm back. I... Hi, River. I hope you're doing well. I heard, I know you said you were sick earlier. I hope you're feeling a little better. Yo, your slippers are getting owned. That's funny. Uh, you even gave her Renell, and she still kept pressing. You hope she's one of those healing therapist types you're about on bitter. Next thing you know, she's going to pull out your crystal so that you'll get a nosebleed. You think it over, realizing how bad cotton mouth is kicking your ass. You reach behind to grab one of Roman's bags, pulling out a few mini bottles of water. One for the two of you. Taking a swig of water, you realize cotton mouth might be just be anxiety. You're not used to talking about yourself or really about anything deep with anyone. Nothing more than service level conversations. Something you've grown used to in the years of customer service interaction. Sometimes knowing too little about something, someone is for the best. It takes a moment for you to gather the courage to speak. Realize you've been staring on the window in front of you since you last saw time. Uh, since the last time she spoke. Has it been seconds? Minutes? Take a deep breath before speaking. She didn't ask for this. <coughs> I'm... Oh, where is it? Ghanaian. There it is. Alright. I'm gonna remember eventually. Ghanaian. Both my parents came from here, uh, from Ghana, in the 80s. Started a new life. Dad even got a white ass last name just to assimilate and follow the white man's rules. Met my mother and they fell in love. Had a wedding and yada yada yada. You know how this shit goes. One of the few things you completely resent your father for, the way he assimilated into American culture just to fit in, then did nothing with his life after. And I stuck with this white ass last name instead of half the half the gardens you know don't even think you're one of them that's rough i still think i'm an accident but growing up my dad always seemed to hate everything i did it was really oh god wait It was really into art growing up, but one day my dad got so fed up with my shit that he banned me from drawing. Forced me to read books and focus on medical shit. Wanted me to become a doctor despite my dad driving a cab for 30 years. My mother being a secretary at the mayor's office. My mother tried to stop him. She believed in you until she couldn't fight him anymore. He was a demon in the house, and you and your siblings all resent him to this day. I never went to medical school. I got my high school diploma and decided I didn't want to finish college. So I thought that shit was a waste of my fucking time. I wanted to be a ghostwriter for a long time, realizing that I should be the one with the fame. Or before realizing that I should be the one with the fame. People should be looking at me instead of the lucky asshole spitting my raps. You have two African parents who push academia for, on you for so long, you just don't go that route and you don't go that route they present you the day i told my mother i was dropping out of college and i want to focus on my music she cursed my head and kicked me out you realize she probably regrets doing this but the moment still traumatizes you to this day you can't even go to your child at home without reliving this moment over and over again one of the many reasons why you tried avoiding when you try avoiding to get your mom to babysit. A long pause before you speak again. Mostly because you're trying to fight back the break in your voice. Long story short, I'm still doing this music shit and it's going somewhere. My bees are doing better than my actual music. But for now, working at Bapa is waiting for my big break. The big break feels like it's never gonna come. 
you've waited for years to finally feel like your hard work is paying off and now you're finally getting some of your flowers but it's just not enough shit like is she feeling bad for you you don't want her pity you don't want anyone's pity you just want to be okay shit i'm fine yolanda shit happens sometimes you can't please everyone in your life no matter how hard you try your parents too Despite everything you've learned in your 26 years, or despite, despite everything, the one thing you've learned in your 26 years is that you can't please the people you want to please the most. Remember back in the sixth grade when you came up with a report card full of A's and your father didn't even praise you. Instead, he yelled at you to go take out the trash. Yeah, dude's 26. It hurt, and... You stop putting that much effort into school after that. You realize it wouldn't matter no matter how smart you were. Besides, it's either not going to college or getting random girls pregnant. That curse is, that curse is meant for my end. You laugh. A genuine laugh. You never believed in cursing until your mom cursed you. And now you're suffering by her hands. No matter your connection to God or whatever higher being you may believe in, you can't seem to lift it. Sometimes you believe the curse will be removed once you make things right with your mother, but... Two girls pregnant? You have two baby mamas? You scoff, almost like she insulted you, which wasn't the case this time. <clears throat> the first one wasn't my fault. We used a condom. It didn't break either. I feel like she did some shady shit to got herself pregnant. Oh my god. Wow, relatable, finally. <laughs> Psychic. You realize how much you're grinding your teeth and deciding you didn't really care enough to get angry over this. You take a deep breath, leaning back in your seat as you look out the window. No, I know not that part, but still. <laughs> Anyway, I'm done. Um, it's not like I'm fucking up the moment. You didn't even realize how well you saw yourself up to easily shoot your shot until you said it. But you couldn't help but grin as you leaned over to speak quietly. I could be. I live upstairs. Oh. Yolanda, what? I don't get you. Maybe you're... Maybe you're just built different. I don't get you. Nice. You didn't think she actually lived upstairs. It... It makes sense. Now that you're thinking about it for more than two seconds, she didn't look like she ran the joint probably on the salon downstairs too. The trauma did it. <laughs> fucking, fucking Mal Mal Malik was pouring his heart out. Like, he was fucking, he was like fucking, like, she was gripping her fucking thigh. It's like, oh, I can't not fucking. <laughs> I can't blame him. Some crazy person tried to do the same thing to my brother. She ain't bright. Yeah, no, that's terrifying and scary. It's wild. An unfortunate thing that does happen. Damn, this background art is nice. <laughs> Take a look at this real quick. Nice room. You're impressed by your home, but why so many fish? Like, does there have to be a thousand fish in the fish tank? What the fuck? My brother found out if someone was pregnant would marry them to try and raise the kid and she knew- Oh my god. I hope your brother is doing better now. <laughs> yeah, fishies. Uh, fish aside, you look around the living room area. It's nice and it matches her aura or whatever. Damn, <laughs> you live like this. <laughs> Holy shit. It's the meme. What? 
<laughs> all the candles, it's like a bedroom and face works and here, in here. Home that smells good is a welcoming one. You cock an eyebrow at her, crossing your arms over your chest to give her that look. You smoke a lot, don't you? Mind your business. <laughs> you laugh with her, walking towards the fish tank to get a closer look. You've been snapping a few pictures to show your friends later. Why oh, would someone need this many fish? Is she some serial killer that gets a new fish every time she kills someone? That's a funny concept. I'm gonna write that down for later. Are you about to be murdered? No. This only... The only place... This place is still open. The only place still open is our pizza joint in this one bodega that delivers. What you want? Voice brings you back to reality. You walk towards her to look at the menu in her hand before remembering the most important thing. Also, I can't tell if I'm on the good or bad route. It seems like this is good. He opened up to her. Split it. Fucking split it. Split it. Split it, dude. What is wrong with you? Why? Why are there only two options? Split. <laughs> I'm going fucking feral. Malik, you suck. Oh my god. Maybe if I offer to pay, she'll be like, no, we can split it. Okay. You know what? I'll pay. Really? You know you don't have to. No, that's fine. I'm gonna be a gentleman. I just say, you didn't have to say that. I don't know if she likes that, but you can buy BZs. You'll get a new pair some other time. You pull your phone, looking over the menu with her before you place an order, and of course, your card gets declined. You try again and still declined again. That doesn't make sense. You should have money in there. It's not like you've been irresponsible with your money lately. Besides, you just got a pay raise and got off child support with both your kids and you promised to see them more often. Your eyes is probably an issue with the bank and not your account, but this is embarrassing enough. It's fine as well, but just watch your card get declined twice when you're trying to be a gentleman. I'd I'd walk I'd walk home. <laughs> I would I, I would leave my car and walk home. This is embarrassing. You buy a bag of swears, you set the menu down. You know I can pay, it ain't that big a deal. There's no way you can let her pay for now. You would never let yourself live this down. Nah, actually, it's getting late. I should head home and take my kids to school in the morning. I gotta take my kids to school in the morning anyways. But it really isn't that big a deal, Malik, you know? That's fine, I'll see you around, Yolanda. You grab your phone keys and head out, pausing at the door, turn back over the smile look. Despite your embarrassment, you still have to leave this place with a bang. I... No, I get it. I would have left too. <laughs> you close the door behind you, but instead of making your way towards your car, you just kind of linger in front at the front door for a moment. You realize you made a fool of yourself, didn't you? You didn't. This was not your fault. This was a bank issue. <laughs> just explain it. I mean, there's no way she might believe it, but yeah. You can never come here again. You make your way towards your car and head back to your apartment. Thankfully, you didn't have the kids with you for the night, giving you enough time to reflect in peace. I... Yeah. I really lost for that.
That shit's wild. Give me, give me back my save. Wait. Okay. Uh. Well, that's the first ending, and if <laughs> that is wild. Wait, no, 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 no. Load. Also, uh, we got like fifteen more minutes of stream, cause there's this thing I want to raid and be there for. Swallow your, swallow your, your pride. You pay? Can you not? You really don't want to pay, honestly. You're saving up for a new pair of beezies and you don't want to pay for food when you don't have to. The one thing you learn from your father is how cheap you can be. I mean, I could, but this is your house and... I was messing with you, I'll pay. People out a silent sigh of relief. Beezy secured after this week's paycheck. She takes a seat off their expensive looking couch and you follow. After her, sitting up close to her, wrapping an arm around her shoulder like some cheesy rom com. I can't believe I got a bad ending for. If it was me, I would have been like, let's split it. Man. You realize you're far more comfortable than you typically would be at a stranger's house. I'm surprised she just let you in like that. You are really are just some type of guy and came to you are just some guy who came to an open mic. Oh, let's turn the move on play. Might as well ask the question you both wanted to ask. So you live alone? Besides the fish, yeah, pretty much. Along grin, followed by your attention darting back towards a rather large fish tank. She has to have money. This is impressive. Why so many fish? Oh no, I've triggered the trauma. Who needs kids? We have a shit ton of fish. There's like 700 in there. And I know every single one. Okay, that's impressive and kind of hot. Why is that kind of hot? I love Malik's face in this one. Man, this, they are so good. Really? Sheesh, I wish I had 100 fish instead of two kids. Oh no, he's opening up. Most days, that statement is true. It's not like you don't love your kids to death, but you, you wish you didn't have the responsibility of taking care of someone else. You regret having kids? Uh... Don't get me wrong, I love my kids. Just wish I waited, you know? At least until I settle down with someone I really fuck with. You know, my baby mamas can't even be in the same room for longer than an hour without one of them wanting to kill me. Your biggest regret. You wish you pulled out or used a better condom. Anything to take the burden or responsibility of kids off your shoulders. You want so much more to life than just picking up your kids after school or taking them to chuck Chuckle weed cheat chuckle W cheesers. Doesn't that mean you're the problem? You can't help but laugh at that one. She's unfortunately right about that one. You're the common denominator 100 percent of your issues. But to be fair, you're working on it. Getting better slowly slowly but surely. Maybe so. Do if you watch the fish move. She looks satisfied with their movements, as if she trained them to do that herself. Can you train fish? Better focus, she takes your hand on your own and pulls you in closer. You press a kiss on her forehead before speaking quietly against her temple. You might as well ask, the worst she can say is no. So, you gonna let me fuck or flat no? Nah. Yes! Not in front of the fish! You weren't expecting her to say no, but it still comes with a shock. You laugh, bringing her a bit close to you as you rest your head against her own. You're, you hope this isn't scaring her. The last thing you want to do is make her uncomfortable. Will you ever let me fuck? Nah. <laughs> might as well ask. You know someone wouldn't like to wait, but you might as you don't, you really don't see the point in that. But then again, it has been a couple months that you've last gotten laid, so maybe that's your dick talking and not the sensible person you claim to be. Uh, 
That isn't a good sign. Maybe in the future? When I get to know you better? Oh. You weren't expecting that. She's actually giving you a chance to spite everything. You look down at her and think it over before your attention darts back to the fish tank. The more you sit here, the more you realize you can actually, actually can't fuck this woman. Sitting beside her, slightly buzzed, the smell of roses fill the room. It reminds you too much of Alice. It reminds you of times you two had it together. The only time in your life you felt like you were in love. You have a certain admiration for Alice and you haven't been able to find in any other woman. Yolanda is different, but she just isn't Alice. No one can be Alice, and it's not fair of you to expect that in other people. You decide the best choice of action would be to just leave. You don't want to put this innocent woman into the bullshit mess of your life. That is the last thing you need. Is the last thing you need is another cat by in the lobby of your apartment building. You stand, stretching for a moment before you look down at her, speaking in a calm voice. You do your best not to come off as upset, but you obviously fail at that. <laughs> I adore and I want to be there with her. I'll be the parent that step up for these fishies. <laughs> oh, Zarya, you'd be a great fish dad. Upset for the other obvious reason, that is, getting late isn't that big a deal when you're hurting like this. You know what? I'm going to go. I just remembered I have to pick up my kids tomorrow morning. What? I have kids, remember? They need to see their dad. Oh. Oh, did you just hurt her feelings? It almost seemed like she didn't want you to leave. Despite not wanting to funk you. Does she really want to be friends with you? Was she serious about what she meant by waiting a little longer? Dude, she was into you. This was... She was like, hey, I want to get to know you better. That is like... She was... Okay. You can't think about this right now. The longer you think about this, the harder it will be to leave. And you know your mother would curse you out if you overslept and made her lay for work. At least wait for the food. Exactly. I'll see you around. Uh, shit. I forgot about the food you two ordered. Your appetite is long gone after thinking about Alice. For a woman you claim to love and respect, she can ruin your mood without even being here. Damn. <laughs> you want to hug Yolanda. You want to apologize for doing her dirty like this, but you can't bring yourself to. Your inability to comfort someone is... You've clearly heard fully on display. You feel bad. You're not bad enough to do something about it. Fuck, that's what he said in the beginning! Yeah, I'm gonna get my food and head out. You're crazy! See you around, Londo. Giving her a nickname as you rudely walk out of her home to get food from downstairs is probably not one of your proudest moments. You're an asshole. If anyone had bitter heard about this, you're mentioned to be in shambles for weeks. You walk out, making sure to keep the door unlocked to return her food to her. It'd be rude just to put it out on her doorstep, wouldn't it? You go back and forth. Yeah, fucking Christ! This has to be the bad end. You go back and forth with yourself and you slowly make your way downstairs. Should you go back upstairs and apologize and stay with her for as long as she wanted you to? You don't understand how a person like her could hang out with someone like you, someone with so many issues. You have way too many issues. To find the slow descent down the stairs, you're quick to one up those four flights of stairs to ensure she gets her food. You already walked down her like that, giving her cold food would probably piss her off even more. You stand in front of her door, setting your own food down the side before reaching your hand up to knock. You stop yourself as you hear the sound of... Sobbing? Did you make her cry? Oh shit, dude. Fuck.
not gonna apologize. You should knock on her door and apologize. Be a good person for what to know of your life. Fuck it. You knock on her door. You have to make it right. You can't leave a woman crying like this. You might be a man and kind of a piece of shit, but you have limits how bad a person you can be for a day. You think you have met your cap for this week? That was an interesting line. Think a few moments before she opens the door. Her eyes red and avoid it. If you were in her shoes, you wouldn't look at yourself either. You offer the bag of food, which she's picking up your own. You take a step closer, bringing a hand up to rest on her shoulder, which she quickly pushes away with her own. Her sad eyes fill with disgust. Don't touch me. Your foot. You don't even get a chance to speak before she's snatching the drink out of your hand and slamming the door in your face. Okay, you deserve that. You take the L on this one and give her the point. Malik 3, Yolanda 4. Damn, guys, I'm bad at this. She didn't even take the food, she just took the drink. Oh, I hope that's not telling of anything. Oh. Oh, I hope that's not telling of anything at all. <laughs> Uh, <sighs> he is a disaster, yeah. <laughs> he is he is going through it and I <laughs> Okay. I would keep going. But the thing I want to watch is starting in like two minutes. So I think I'm just going to spend like the rest of my time shilling about it because I think it's really cool. And hopefully I can get you gamers to want to watch it too. Um, I, 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 I should be talking about the game and how it's making me feel, but uh, not now i don't have enough time um so fucking if you gamers if you gamers like fucking actual play shit uh which i hope you might if not it's fine uh it is going to be a think of like fuck okay it's called reflection and it is like this series of like sort of futuristic think of like your futuristics 2010 animes that are like really bad it's sort of like in the same vein of that but it's going to be good <laughs> it's like an homage to the stuff like that like uh fucking and they have like these cool fucking weapons from like legends and myths and they will use them to fend off the Armageddon against these fucking, like, demon things, and it's... It's cool. I cannot do a good job at explaining it, but I'm just... <laughs> essentially stalling, because I've been excited for, like, months for this. And I'm... terrible at explaining things, but... I, I just wanted to convey what it is, and if that might interest you, uh, stick around after the raid and watch what they're doing. Press the channel because it should be up now. Well, they weren't exactly on time. Fun. Uh, <laughs> if not, that is fine. I, I also wanted to stream just to send as many people that way as they could because there's a lot of work put into it and it looks really good. And the art is really good and and the characters seem fun and i and the and the people playing them are really funny <laughs> yeah that's about it um <laughs> it's a very awkward way to end this uh stream but really want to be there and watch it.
Oh, don't tell me they're like delayed or something. Alright, no, it's up. Uh it, it, it's about adults using super weapons to fend off against the apocalypse. It's really cool. Oh, shit, is it up? I I am being owned consistently. Oh no, they're having issues. Or maybe they are. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> how how are you gamers doing? I I hope like the stream wasn't bad. I know like I'm looking at like the amount of dropped frames, and I know it wasn't the worst. It could have been. Definitely could have done a little more. Well, not a little more, but like a little bit more. I guess I don't know. This is fun. You're invested. Okay, cool. It works. You need this game. This game is very good. It was like, I don't know if it's still on sale, but it's like 70% off. Put some ice cream after dinner. Awesome. What kind? Oh my God. They're on the, they're on the wrong channel. You've got to be trolling. There's no way. Chat that. We got to spell vanilla for a second. Oh, I've had I've been having vanilla lately, and it's really good. Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh, also, a lot of basic brands fuck up. I don't get how you fuck up vanilla like it. I know exactly what you're talking about, too. You love star ice sherbet ice cream? Sherbet's really good. Okay, it's up. Fuck. Alright, cool. Uh holy shit, well the art's so the art's so good. Okay, 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 okay. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna send you guys over. Uh I have a raid phrase in mind. Uh th this is an inside joke. Cool, there we go. Uh here's the right phrase, pleak. <laughs> yeah, no, look, it, it it's shmi time, don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you, gamers. Uh I will uh, hopefully see you there. Uh have a good one and i'm not sure what i that is malik's life motto it's an inside joke and also it's it's validate related <laughs> all right um i'm not sure what i'll be streaming next maybe probably more validate if i'm being honest i want to do like more of my project stuff but that that is dependent on other people and i have to Resituate another the like rainy university stuff, but that's fine. Have a good one, gamers. Thank you for being here, and I will see you later.